So basically, my research project explores the relationship between Victorian choreography, which is the art of flower giving, and biology. And the way I did that was by constructing Victorian dresses from real flowers and pairing it with biological images of that same flower. Um, and basically, my research pulled from Victorian fashion to Victorian communication design, um, as well as choreography, which uh, all played huge roles in my project. Um, and it was both creative and, and academic in the way that I spent half my time in the studio and then I spent uh, the other portion of my time in the lab. At Medina Minds, I'll have about 10 printed pieces, and then I'll have my book on display for people to read. It's hardcover, 134 pages. Um, it's entitled Flora Feministica. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to, to be able to present my project, talk with people about my project, and also for people to see it um, in book form, to be able to turn pages and read a little bit about what I learned. Probably the most important thing that I've learned about this process is that um, definitely uh, when you're doing intensive research, you need time and you need support from other people to do it, which uh, is why I really appreciated uh, the URO office at Carnegie Mellon because they gave me a year to be able to complete this grant, um, which I think I use all the time that they gave me to complete it. Um, and I definitely learned how to manage time a lot better too. I think after the Meeting of the Minds, I'm definitely going to continue to uh, develop this technique and continue to uh, do things of this nature, maybe even explore it as a potential thing to explore more in graduate school or other grants. Um, I think that I've started to unravel something, but I haven't completely unraveled it, so I'd love to uh, gain more exposure in this specific topic.